like new sunglasses, like a brand new pair of jeans. I feel like taking chances. I feel a lot like 17. When I close my eyes Like making big mistakes I feel like for the first time in a long time I am not afraid I feel like a kid Never thought it feel like this Like when I close my eyes When I close my eyes And don't even care If anyone sees me dancing Like I can't fly And I don't even think I'm touching the ground yeah. Like a heartbeat skip Like an open page Like a one-way trip On an aeroplane It's the way that I feel When I'm with you Brand new Dear love, I never thought I'll ever write a letter to someone I'll call love. But the moment I realized what we have, there's just no other word more fitting to call you than that. And it sums up everything that I am, all that I ever wanted, who you are as a person, and who you are to me. You are love, and that's the most important thing. After more than a decade of friendship and being a constant in each other's life, despite the distance, 
this sudden shift in our faith swept us by surprise. I love you for every bit of who you are. The known, the unknown, and your possibilities. I cannot thank God enough for giving you to me. I love you as you. I love myself and I am with you. And I am in love with what we have together. You are my one true love. And right now, there is nothing more I want than to just spend the rest of my human days with you until it is time for us to merge as our souls move on towards eternity. Dearest Joseph and Grace, Atagra, as what I used to call you, thank you for all the happiness that you have brought into my life, the knowledge and wisdom that you have shared, and for always being there for me. You are always the one I admire, the one I look up to and influence me to be better. As this magical experience transpired, and we were presented with the truth, looking back, you were always the one I longed to be with the one that I cherish more than anything. And as you know, I don't care a lot about anything. With you, I was always careful. For a reason, you're very precious to me. Now that reason is as clear as day, my love, you were always the one for me because I was created just for you. All that I have done and all that I have become was in preparation for this perfect moment in time and space that we have aligned. And finally, I am worthy to be with you and love you forever. You are the love of my life. You are my everything. As we start this journey, know that my purpose is to be with you forever. I swear to continuously celebrate your existence, to hold your hand in all seasons of our lifetime. The discovery of our love will always be my ultimate achievement, and marrying you is the greatest decision. Kenneth Bryant, Kentan, love. From this day onward, I promise to always be by your side. As we journey in this life, I will take a step back to follow your lead should you need it. And should you need space, I will give you that. And in times that you need some pulling, I will also be more than willing to be moving forward. From this day on, Amongst the many roles I play in this life, first and foremost, I will only have one priority, one new identity, and that's going to be your best life. Kenneth, if you come here of your own free will, to bind yourself forever in the love and service of your wife, Josephine, if you come here of your own free will, to bind yourself forever in the love and service of your husband, You make it survive. Unang halik ka pagkatapos ng kasal.
I've collected so many really beautiful memories in my 37 years of existence. But, <laughs> no, 37. But what happened here today, I'm certain will be one of my most memorable, most life-altering, and most unforgettable happenings in my life. And that's largely because it happened to JC. Daisy or Duda, as I fondly call her, is actually my best friend since the day she was born. But more than being my sister and my the, the person I trust the most, I realized recently that she should be my, my baby. And I realized that when I became a mother because I felt that the love I have for our team at this point is actually the very same love I've always had and will always have for the crazy. And this motherly affection is unconditional, it's intense, and sometimes it's stunning that no matter how much I know and I trust that she's a very strong, independent, self-sufficient person. She's happy on her own. I, I can't help but always worry about her future, about her happiness, about her decisions, about everything about me. So I guess I, I can say this on behalf of the entire family, that no matter how good life gets, how much success each one, one of us will have or you will have there will always be that worry in us or our happiness will never be complete so long as we don't see you in the place that you deserve and with the person we know will take care of you for the rest of your life and I guess um, right that's, that's something that we will always be thankful uh, about you and I think the Tan family for raising this person, raising this person. <laughs> Thank you for loving her since then, for being her friend for the last 10 years of her life, for driving for her and picking her up whenever she goes to Cebu, for, for loving her soul, the raw and filtered and beautiful form of her soul. <coughs> and um, rest assured that we feel the same uh, for Brian, he has always been one of us, and we love him as family ever since. And Gracie, thank you for everything. You are the best sister and daughter that any family could ever ask for. Thank you for giving everything to our family for the last Our wish for tonight is that you will decide to from this day forward give your all to Brian. Good evening everyone, I'm Bibi of the Tan family. <laughs> Actually, to be completely honest, that was a very heartfelt message and I felt it was very emotional. So what I'm going to do is try to make you guys laugh and smile. Is that okay? okay. So actually, I'll talk about him in the best way possible. He'll be the best man, best husband ever to Ate Grace. And actually, thank you so much for that. Okay, I will do my best. Aww. To the Roja family, Tan family, friends, uh, Kuya Ken and Ate Grace, I just want to emphasize on how excited we are, my brother and I, in being here tonight with all of you. My parents have always been joking around about how, you know, each of us were born out of different circumstances or different reasons. 
But I believe that there is one thing certain for all of us three. It's that they chose to bear us through love and longing. I will basically tell you about how I know and see my Kuya Ken, my amazing superhero. <laughs> Power of memory. But still heartfelt. We have a 10 year age gap, if you didn't know. When I was five years old, still, t still starting out in life, he was already out hanging out with friends and flirting with girls, basically. I've never personally experienced his younger years, but I've always heard about it from my parents, from my relatives, and at the Grace, I think you can also attest to that since they love talking about his childhood experiences, right? When I was 15, hanging out with my friends and flirting with girls, he was 25, trying to make something of himself, start, trying to start out with his life. And at the time, I could not think about, or I think I was still too immature, to think about his struggles and what he'd been going through. But it's nice to think that at this point, he'd already met Ate Grace in medicine. And I'm so glad that you're able to share your struggles, love lives, stories, funny t fun times, sad times, since you've been the best of friends ever since. I can't believe that seeing you together now, and getting to know you at the Grace just recently, I can't believe these two haven't been together earlier. And now that I'm 23, current age, and that I'm trying to make something for myself, and my Kuya Ken is 33, getting married, and already establishing himself as a wonderful doctor together with Ate Grace, I'm already understanding a little bit of how it feels to grow up, especially having such a wonderful framework of a brother, and how I should guide through in my personal life. And I know that if I ever stumble, I have him to lean back on. And also, yeah, we have it. And I'm also sure that in your relationship, in your marriage now, you guys can lean on each other. And also, I would just like to say that in the past few days, I've never seen my brother like this at the Grace. Like he's never been any happier to meet someone special to him. To finish this off in my speech, I never imagined that he would get married, my brother personally. Or, I never imagined him to go anywhere else besides our own home, our room, playing together and joking around. But now, I'm more than just excited not to think, but also experience on the sidelines this new chapter in my brother and Ate Grace's life called One True Love. Congratulations, I wish you both the best. I think I can speak for everyone when, we, when I say we're all looking forward to what life has in store for both of you. And the grace is not the last. I think I speak for the Tan family lang when I sing Apaka guna o sahay kamrog ni Tukar magod. Cheers to all of us. I'm enjoying the food and I hope you all are also. My brother will do the toast now. Hello everyone. In all honesty, as much as I want to make you all tear up the words I have prepared. I also believe that the words that I have prepared are nothing compared to what we all witnessed today. So I just want to keep this short and brief. Friends and family, my new family. <laughs> Join me as I raise a toast to the bread and groom, to Mr. and Mrs. Tan, to one true love, and to, one, to, uh, to each of our own one true love. Aww. Cheers! That you always have each other to lean on. Ryan, watching you grow up, it makes me a very proud father. Thanks to God for having you as a son. Uh, Grace, welcome to the family. Hoping that your love will be stronger as the days go by. Will you support God? at the center of your relationship. Good evening, everyone. My heart is full and very happy. It's so nice to see family and friends gather to witness this memorable event in the life of Brian and Grace. We traveled from far places to be with them today. And I'm here to speak for Brian and Grace in saying how much your attendance is appreciated. 
Brian, the day that I prayed for has finally come. I feel so blessed by your choice of a lifetime partner. Remember, when you were still young, I always told you to find a woman who is not only beautiful, but God-fearing and intelligent. <laughs> Brian, you made a very good decision. <laughs> All three of them, I told them that you find a woman <laughs> who is intelligent and beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Grace, welcome to the family. Praying that you will be a good wife and a good mother to your children. <laughs> I have now a daughter from this day. <laughs> Thank God for having you. Brian and Grace, be faithful for each other. Be a good parent to your children. Thank you very much. And I wish you all the love and happiness in the world. Congratulations and God bless us all. Nga uda naman ko mga naunaan. Kadang i-describe na lang ako si Grace for the past 30 years of her existence in the eye of a mother. I just spelled Josephine. Is it okay? Josephine actually is the, came from the, my mother's name, Josefina. And na mother naman karon, so na Josephine na. So I'll, I'll take J as just. Uh, Josephine has never been, uh, he is, she is always practicing justice in her life. Always unbiased, always kanang patas sa tanan, na pagtulog. And then O. Oh, Outstanding. Sorry ha. Huh? I know hindi ka gusto gagin doon nga outstanding. Kasi from elementary days, high school, especially in UP days, not a single week siguro na na-perfect niya i-attendance. Kaya di ka siya outstanding na student. <laughs> Pero on during med school, salamat sa ginoon, nagtarong na siya na outstanding ang saka daw sa PGI na outstanding siya sa PG, sa internship niya awarded and then o oh, S is for simplicity she is so simple walang walang garbo unsa man ay yung bataa oy so simple in everything ah uh, e e exceptional para sa ako exceptional siya nga daughter person, friend, she will always go out of her way to give back. And then E, P, 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 She always do things in a realistic way with a practical implication without theoretical <laughs> theoretical uh, ano, the always practical yung yung mga mga ginagawa niya with a practical outcome ano na P H H na H humble humble very humble and <laughs> humble ka ayo humble ka ayo of full of happiness bond always happy you know what you're not always happy, but right, this moment that you became one, ito na pinaka-happiest moment na nakita ko ni Grace. You know what you're not? Maka-ingong gigo ni, kuang gigo ni mo, ni, ni, agri gigo ni mo. Never in, in the life of, ano na, happy, karong pag gigo nakita ka, happy na gigo ka always, pero ibang klaseng happiness ngayon. Lahi, 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 lahi. One, two, three. <laughs> Asa nito yung H? Ay, 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 ay. Intuitive. Kanang, na siya yung mauna nga wala pagani na ako na huna huna murag na ini siya tubag na ini siya yung makano. 
happy ka no. Isang bata, ano, because by she is a psychology graduate, or kahit maliit pa siya, Bri, ganyan na siya. Sa, sa bahay, sa mga neighborhood, ganyan siya. Very intuitive. Ano siya na N. N. Nutrient dense. <laughs> Healthy lifestyle. Ang uh, advocacy niya. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, uh, sir. Ang advocacy ni Dr. Ace. Ano ba ba? Help me. E. Excellent. Ina. Last. E. Excellent. Yes. Yeah. Entirely different. Mm. Uh, excessively loving daughter, sister. Everything. And everything. 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 Yeah. Oh. So, Bri, I want to say thank you for making Grace. I'm so happy. Kung na-remember ni Mo, katong that very day that you that the big reveal was given to the family, that was July 7, nakaingong yun ko nga, pwede nung kukunin ni Mo, Lord. Grace is already safe, love, and 100% sure, certain, that her life will be the best taken care of. Thank you so, so much. And to the Tan family, Neil, Bye-bye. <laughs> Jean, thank you, thank you all for loving Grace. You take her as your very own. And Bri, we have you as our own too. Long time ago, even new classmate pa lang kayo, tuwing umu si Grace sa bahay, si Kentan, ito, 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 yung birthday niya, pero di na makalintan. <laughs> Sila miracle, di ba? Or, a day after your birthday? Doon ba nila ma-remember birthday mo? Oo, oh, oh, but this time daw, they will remember na. Uh, this time, this time on. Uh, so, lahat yata, na ginagawa ninyo nung college, nung med school days, kinakwento din ni Grace amin. So, we, as if we have known you also for the last 10 years. Yung... No, 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 Today, August 18, I can feel that uh, today is your happiest day. You know why? Because um, uh, aside from the blessing that you have found your uh, one true love, uh, I see that I, I have never been um, so uh, so happy in this way that I can say that your happiness may, may be uh, my happiness also because for the longest time, even if uh, I have a very little milestone or even uh, small achievements, I know, even if we are apart, I know you are, you, cel you celebrate with me and you are very happy, genuinely for me. And although, although I am the eldest, she is our baby, she's the youngest. But that's only um, for um, in, in order of the, our siblings. But she's uh, really, you know, more uh, more ano kaya magulang naman. Why? Because as if you know, this guy usually in the ilonggo. Pag pag ati mo ati mo talaga yan, may ati ganito or si kuya ganyan. Siya wala. 
she she is calling us by our uh, first name directly. Barbie, Dudai, Mandru, direct. Not because she's not respecting us, but it is because she is so mature. She is she has this. Um, um, she is confident enough that what she, uh, and we respect her also. All of us we respect each other. That all of us can say. Uh, can say their hearts out, whatever it is, whether ano man yan, uh, positive or negative. So, in the uh, sa, in the long run, I found out na she she grew and she she's more mature than than me and uh, I think all of us in terms of decision making, in terms of the wisdom, in terms of you know how uh, the outlook in life and and everything else. Uh, I see her as somebody na ano talaga. Uh, pwedeng mong pagtanungan ng kahit anong bagay. Kumbaga, I need to, this, to decide on this thing yeah, that even even my uh, ano, um, my marriage date or, or ganun, magpakasalabaw, she helped me decide na ngayon. Yeah. Imagine, imagine, uh, even my wedding, eh, eh, hindi ako basta-basta nag-decide lang na without consulting her. So, uh, I, I might be biased when I say that she's the best person, she's the, my favorite person in the world, but she is. And kung hindi nyo pa nakita, and maybe hindi nyo pa siya nakasama ng ganun katagal, but for me, she's the best person talaga, and my favorite person. And if um, somebody will ask me, if ganun siya, the best siya, is she perfect? Maybe no, she's not perfect. She, she has also some things in life that she needs to, uh, uh, to be, uh, she needs improvement also. And kung ano yun, maybe, ano, uh, sa love life, maybe she doesn't have, mga, mga previous day, uh, this is not for anything, something, you know, negative, but, kumbaga, she deserves so much better na I wanted her to have a, a partner to, to give back yung mga bagay na binibigay niya sa amin. Kumbaga, babae siya, pero... Ko siya, how can I make my, my wife special? How can I, I surprise her? The choice of food, the choice of restaurant, the choice of flowers. Ganon tinatanong ko sa kanya to make my, my partner happy. Imagine ganon, siya tinatanong ko. Pero every time na she helped me on that, I, I am praying na, God, how can I repay her? Sana... She can find, I know, she can find somebody na magbigay din nito sa kanya because she deserves so much better in life. Na yun nga, yun ang kailangan din, kailangan niya na to have. And ayun, kasi for me she she is. You can ask her about uh, your love life, personal life, self improvement, nutrition, how to heal yourself, how to to be a visionary guy, how to improve your career. May mga ganun siya, how to even hack some things na parang unconventional na meron siya shortcut and how to do it. She's simply the best man na babae. Parang, parang ganun. So, I, I, really, I am really, really happy na brother niya ako. But today, I am very, very happy. Kasi nga, he, she found her one true love. And Ganito, I, I will remind, 40 days uh, earlier than this, it was uh, July 7. Nung sinabi niya sa amin na uh, I will be, uh, ano na, kumbaga, I found my true, one true love and I will, uh, he's here and I will, uh, ano, uh, kilala ko siya sa inyo. Honestly, uh, uh, I am surprised and I'm happy but hindi ko makuha to be worried. Kasi nga, parang, wala akong maisip na better guy before na para makamatch niya to give her, ganun. And this time, magpapakasal na daw siya. So, kaya parang, sure. <laughs> wala, wala akong ka-idea na kung, kung ano. But then again, since I trust her almost on all decisions in my life, sasabihan ko, sabi ko na sarili ko, kung saan siya maligaya, supportahan ko siya. Although, sige lang, baka siya baka, I, baka eh, with this partner, hindi ko lang alam, baka siya nat natuwa pala dito or she's very happy na, kung hindi ko lang na-notice but i-allow ko lang, I will support her but when he when she bring, and I saw na Ken, wala, I just can't help myself but cry sobrang na naiyak ako kasi this is, this is it, kumbaga wala nang sure winner na 
Gusto mo yung wala, 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 wala na yung question. Pag yun yung next month, magpakasal na kami. Ano ba next month pa? Hindi mo ba? Huwag ma, pwede na magpakasal. Mawa ko naka-sure. And mawa ko ka-happy ni, na nakita na niya ang, ang, she, ang what she truly deserves good. So, and most of all, although, uh, before, I have um, a feeling na kung pagpakasal na akong iso na uh, nag-wife, ma ma makuha ko, ma wala na ako sister ba, kaya ikuha na sa mga lalaki. Pero kanina, hindi ba, hindi ba mo na ako na-feel? Napil ko, magdudugangan, may pamilya. And because of you guys, kaya, um, so I'm very, very thankful for you, Ken and Tan family, because I know, continue ninyo ang, uh, may enjoy ninyo si Gracie and uh, ang blessing niya ang yung pagkatao, kung baga mas ma-share pa niya sa FNU ng tanay. So, Gracie, I, I thank you so much for your life. For being, especially for being the best person for, for me and for everyone, even my kids. May mga, even may mga kids na ko, pero I see her pa rin na, uh, ano, mag-baby na mo ba? The baby na sa Ipautan na ako. Ang saan yung desisyon na maayaw. Nagkatawaan pero tinuod din na. So, thank you so much. And I am, even if I cannot see you na, I am sure you are in very, very good hands. And I know na, expect na ninyo na from time to time, magbisita ko ninyo ha. If I need something, if I need to feel good, I need to talk to her lang. Maura na, everything will be fine na. So, thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you for that heartfelt uh, message from uh, his brother Alvin. And uh, there's another surprise message from uh, from the uh, from the family. I uh, see uh, Sir Pizza Pizza Pong. First of all, I have to say something. I did not expect that I have to make a speech today. So, I don't know, I'm gonna say whatever I feel. Because actually, like, I'm not a person that gave a good speech. Even my speech occurs, I almost fail. Okay, I don't like this. So, like, let's say, like, at first, I got surprised that we are gonna get married because, like, I we we beginning communicate to each other like uh, and after he was so busy with his life with his work and when like when I know during the COVID pandemic it's like I cannot come back to Cebu so like but the first like, the first news that I heard like from Kurt it's like ah we are gonna get married now so I been like wondering who's gonna be like the girl that we are gonna get married because it, Everything was so fast. I can say like everything actually so so fast. <laughs> <laughs> but when first time that I met, I think I said, "Oh, yeah, you made the right choice." <laughs> <laughs> I say like very confident that Kuya can take good care of Ate. Like very nice. <laughs> they meet to each other like wapo ba, wapa, perfect. <laughs> I want to see in Ali. We have baby. It's gonna be so nice because it's gonna be so nice. <laughs> oh my gosh, like surprise attack. <laughs> I say like if we are gonna tell me ahead I have to make speech, I gonna make it better than that also. It's okay. Unless like I try. But I say like uh, this is a good time when I say like confidence to like especially in here in Bantanes, no internet. <laughs> Even me and my girlfriend was talking to each other like, what, what are life going to be without internet? But every time I go down and I see Kuya and Ate, they was happy. So I know, they, they something like, they're not, they're not, they're not, how do you say like, <laughs> no, but I say like, ah, uh, this, want to spend time with each other. So like, it's making me feel and confident that So, 
just offer my speech because it happened. Thank you. Thank you. Though um, we decided to call you Brian, for me you're always Kitan, and I'm so thankful na. Hmm. <laughs> you bridged the gap because ibaw ko past relationship na AC we always supported her along the way whatever decisions she had even though it's a high questionable <laughs> but we still support her all the way and I always pray I always pray that I am really hoping that someone will come that she truly deserves because you know how um, hopeless romantic I am, right? But I never question your decision because it's your happiness. And I always trust your decision. Pero, I'm really thankful Kitan for for pushing it. Uh, no words can explain how happy I am and I'm very, very um, willing and um, what you call reclamo, whatever um, favor or what you call that, nga in I asked na ko because when I decided to quit my job last January, I said I told I, I told myself that I will devote my my life to AC and it will be extended to her family and you are family, the time family. You are all family. And thank you for giving me such wonderful family that I, I've never experienced with my own family. Thank you, AC, for giving me happiness and for helping me to heal. Thank you. Thank you so much, and I love you both. Thank you. Okay, so, I first time I stage by do hindi ko ano to speak but for Gracia I will do this. <laughs> <laughs> so ever since the day I met Gracia, um, it was ano bed na parang happy happy na na I knew the na maging sister I I always wish all my life. <laughs> have a sister and I felt it in Russia and also in Manor. I became a better version of myself even the best because of them. I was always inspired by, by the family, how they love each other because I never felt it on my own. Because you're not the so I learned a lot from this family and I'm that's one blessing that I will always be thankful of and Sigrasha as I told Andrew whenever I feel na everything's not hindi uh, pala on on the place or negative Garcia is my booster nga every time I see her positive the, 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 the blessings are overflowing and 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 she's really gracia she's to, uh, to us especially to me <laughs> so, so when uh, july 7 when we were all talking about uh, how of uh, her one true love so, we're not mentioned kami lahat kasi sino kaya to si Rita? But deep in my heart, parang I knew it, si Kentan. Sabi ko talaga sa kanila, they were all saying, oh, baka si ano, you know, worried and all. But me, kalma lang because I know, Kentan. Because there was, there was this video na sinend ni Gras on our fa family group chat. Right, right there and then and I felt it na there was something with no doubt and I'm so thankful that it's Kentan because kahit hindi kami gano'n kakilala ni Kentan but because of Gracia's story parang kilalang kilala na talaga namin siya and very supportive 
So I am so happy for you, Gracia and Ken. Congratulations. I love you both. Uh, I would like to congratulate the both of you. Okay, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Um, we are the happiest that you have found your one true love. Um, we are also the happiest because um, I am blessed that I have known you and you can share also the, the things, the, everything that you have taught me. Even if um, I'm a mom of uh, four kids, and you are not a mother, I still run to you for uh, advices and everything. Um, I am so happy that um, well, uh, you are sometimes, uh, last time I told Alvin that I was curious but I one text away, one chat away yeah, I still dinapatulikid mo kami niya po. So, I'm very thankful. Uh, uh, I wish you all the best in your marriage life. And uh, stay here, here for so whenever you meet us always. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Same nung talaga na mahal na mahal namin si Gracia. We hanggang na na kami sa kanya at uh, i-share ko na lang uh, ano, ang nag-ano sa akin, how can we repay her sa mga ginagawa niya sa amin na uh, ano, exceptional talaga siya. Um, tapos, i-share ko na lang yung ano, kung ang personal relationship ko sa sa'yo na uh, for my whole, whole life. One incident la, uh, incident lang sa ba, ulit, uh, sa Cebu to Bacolod. Uh, may pasalubong akong tiktilaok na manok na bichon. Ang sarap. From Toledo to San Carlos, bit-bit-bit-bit ko yun. Tapos, kwentuhan na kami ng kwentuhan hanggang nakalapas na kami sa Port of San Carlos na alala ko na naiwan ko pala yung ano, yung bichon manok. Tapos, nasa labas na kami, balik kami agad. Umakbo ka tayo ng Tegali, no? Pagdating na kami sa parko, na ano naman, alis na naman, alis na naman, sabi, sabi niya daw, uh, sa ano naman, magpapalik lang daw. Nahinahiya ako kay, uh, kay Gracia na ano, kung sabi sa akin, okay lang yan. Uh, Magpapalikan lang tayo, magpapalikan yan. Yun, na, pa, pa, ako ang yangiya talaga ako. Uh, parang ano, tapos, yun, ang, insa, ang time na yun, yun si Gracia sa buhay ko. May kasalanan ako. Uh, we, uh, yung ano, mag-understand siya, magbigay ng solusyon, mag feel good ka na may solusyon lahat. Kung wala man solusyon, how to deal with it, na uh, i-accept na lang. Na parang ano, na-empower na, na niya ako kahit kuya niya pa ako. Mas mature na sa sa pagbong buhay ko, mas mature siya sa akin. Yan ang ano ko, tapos ano, yun ang yun, mahal na mag siya. Okay. Ayan. Ayan lang, yan kaya sa buhay ko, ikaw, ikaw ang ano, you are my favorite, ah. we all, you are my favorite person. Ayan. Okay. I love you, Papa. Ah, how can uh, we repay you pala? Nung nalaman ko na si Kentan, yun na yun. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Problem solved, bro. Problem solved. Uh, congratulations, Brian, and best wishes to the brand. And may God be the center of, all of your marriage. Uh, thank you. <laughs> the club, welcome to the new chapter of your life. Uh, uh, for your informa for the information of everybody, I am the second mother of my children. He was with me since one year old, two years old. And then, if I will tell you who is Brian before, 
Brian, uh, what your his mother will say? Brian, you will be preparing the in the lang mio. Because we love Brian. And Grace, you are so welcome in our family. Very happy. The mother, everybody. At first, we are shocked. But everything is okay now. Brian, thank you. 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 Thank you.
um, we'll give you a look and say, hmm, <laughs> No, no, no. But we'll definitely say that um, the term you are perfect to me is quite surprising. Um, the term you are perfect to me, I accept all your flaws. I accept all your flaws. Do you know each other's flaws? All of their flaws? Maybe, maybe not. Right? But the good thing there is, if you do this, and you do this right, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be, you know, going down, no internet, just talking with each other, no problem, all smiles. It's not going to be like that all the time. There will be times that you would want a break from each other. You would want space. You, Gracie wanted to give, give Brian space. Gracie, you would want space from Brian. But I'll tell you, don't overdo it. Space is not good. You will need it. You would want it. It's not good. See? You're two beautiful people who are you, who, whom, whom you, whom each of you like very much, but you're totally different. I learned this from my beautiful and perfect wife that love is not a feeling. Okay? Getting married is not a feeling because mm, I see myself having kids, a house, and nice car, and you know, you can do. Being with someone, a totally different person who thinks differently, who would challenge you, who would be stubborn, who would oftentimes say, yeah, challenge you. It's space is not good because it's during those. Those are special moments where each of you have to push and pull and push and give and take and understand and listen and talk and explain and express yourself respectfully and you know humble yourself because you might not know something that the other person knows or that you might be wrong and be open to being wrong. So it's that time, that special time when you're in conflict that if you stick around and not give each other space, that's when you get to resolve things. Giving the other person space, and then you come back. Maybe you don't talk about your conflict. Maybe you just pretend and you know play nice. Because you can't tolerate a person for a long time. Sticking each other, sticking with uh, another person for those reasons, for in, in a manner where you just tolerate each other, you know, that's no way to live. And it's hard. It's hard. So, stick around. Right? Give space. Um, maybe a minute or two. Right? Let them get perspective. But when you come back together, go right back back on your point. Push and pull and listen. Humble yourself and express yourself respectfully so that if you're lucky like and blessed like my wife and I you get to resolve things. You get to improve. You get to learn and grow each other, not apart. You grow together and then do that again tomorrow. <laughs> so it's 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 really the the phoenix uh, metaphor where for you, know, you get to have you, you have to burn and decay and die so that a new being, a better version, to 
could surf. So, meaning when, you, when, you, when I say die is that, you know, you set aside and forget about your prejudices. What you thought was right would, is now wrong, and then you don't put your pride above yourself. Don't allow your pride to consume you and accept that you were wrong. And now you're a better version of yourself. You're a reborn being. This thing. See, when I when I when I when you, you ask me about it, uh, what's the hardest thing that surprised me, that's your question is also the easiest thing for me for me in my marriage because when I vowed to love my wife as Christ loves his church. Christ's love is sacrificial love. Christ came down here not to enjoy, you know, uh, just go on vacation and hand him in the face with So you might think of yourself as I'm crazy, I'm Ken, I'm successful, I'm I have my work. Christ died. He, he allowed himself to be humiliated. To be humble, to serve. That's the love that we ought to have for our partner. It's, it's kind, it's not jealous. It's, it does not keep a database of the faults. It's quick to forgive. So, what you don't know what you don't know. So you guys are far from being perfect individually. And you will know this, right? I'm just giving you a preview. Okay? Parang uh, spoiler na to. Pero you, you will know this. You will know this. And I'm happy and I'm content and I could easily die tomorrow. Ask them. And the, the vision that you have for your life that mm, we're gonna take X amount of years before you start a family may change your mind. Their answer may just change your mind. Mic Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, family and friends, and to my lovely wife. So, yeah, it's true that everything happened so fast, and just two months ago, or yeah, less one than less than two months ago, I didn't expect to get, you know, married or something. I didn't even, I didn't even think about it, or it didn't even cross my mind. And you know, love works in mysterious ways, and yeah, we're here now. <laughs> we're celebrating our marriage, and I can say that it's overwhelming. And it's really wonderful. Love is the most wonderful thing in the world. That's what I can say. And yeah, I just love you very, very much with all my life and myself. Thank you for coming. I love you. Good evening, everyone. Lingkod lang ko. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, napatotong message sa ilang man. Kung sa ako ramang story ko. Thank you. Thank you. Mga nasaktong tubag. Yeah. Mm, I will speak na lang in our behalf since we are now one. So, thank you so much to both of our families. We are all families here. It may not be in the blood, but we are family. You know, each one of you, how each one of you meant to us.
So thank you to both sides for accepting our decisions and for believing in our decisions, even if in less than two months it came to this point. To my Tan family, you might be surprised of how our family works, <laughs> the dynamics of our family. And uh, especially, I would just like to, I think it, it needs some enlightenment why the mother and son dance and where we had our supposedly father and daughter dance since our dad is no longer here. And in exchange of that, my brothers were there. But we all felt it was not enough. That's why I have to call my three of my brothers and my sister because the, three, the four of them represents our father. So our father will never be felt as if he is here unless all of us are here. And we all know that he also is very, very happy. He's never had given me any approval in my previous relationships. But with this one, I'm sure, I'm sure he is very, very happy. And I thank you for raising Brian, for giving birth to him at 19 years old, for surpassing everything you and Daddy on me. And at kailangan dun ng pangalak para magkabatch me. Kaya kung wa pa siya gipangalak, di me kabatch. So, we are just speechless. I think even up to this point, human form na mo kay dili makapas sa kanindot sa panghitabo so things happen so fast so beautiful so quick so amazing and we might take a little more time to process all this but we are just so happy that we have you at our backs giving us reassurance that hopefully this is really the right decision and also we have the wisdom of the married couples especially the long time married couples <laughs> once you love to get us going and guide us should there be challenges so we all know that you only wish nothing but the best for us and know that yes you did not lose any family but you just gathered more because from this day on our family will become one and it's all bigger and the love that we have when shared is double so thank you so much and good day. so ladies and gentlemen we come to the end of the program tonight uh, it's a very wonderful uh, night and a very good evening so uh this is your host john paul and uh good night and enjoy the rest of the day and your stay here in batanes thank you and just mama